All right, let's turn now to the fallout from last night's presidential debate. For 90 minutes, President Biden and former President Donald Trump debated issues impacting Americans. ABC's political director, Rick Klein, joins us now with an early read of what Americans thought about that debate. CNN did a poll of people that watched the debate last night, and it wasn't even close. 67%, a two-to-one margin. They saw that Donald Trump as the winner of the debate, although we should note about 80% of respondents said it had no impact on their vote. And it was driven by concerns over his confidence to lead the country. If you add these numbers up for Trump, 36 and 20, that means you've got uh, more than half of the country, uh, people watching the debate last night, have at least some confidence in Donald Trump to lead the country. But it's almost exactly the opposite for Joe Biden. 57% after the debate say they had no confidence at all in his ability to lead, lead the country. And a lot of this is driven by concerns we've heard about for a long time about his mental acuity, his fitness to do, to do the job. This is from the 538 Ipsos poll that came out just a day earlier. 54% of respondents, all adults nationwide, saying that, he, that Joe Biden has either poor or terrible mental fitness. They're concerned about his ability to, do, to be president. And a reminder of the stakes and the land landscape coming in. These are the battleground states, our 538 polling there, seven big states. Joe Biden won six of them four years ago. Right now, if the election were today based on the polling, Donald Trump is the leader in six of those states. And that makes Donald Trump the 47th president of the United States. That was what he went into the night knowing. And that is exactly why there's a lot of concern in Democratic circles today.